Trek Troy Guy back again with another unboxing review. Today we're going to look at Colonel Steve Austin from Biff Bang Pow's Six Million Dollar Man line. These just started shipping, I think mid-August, uh, a couple of weeks after Comic-Con in 2012. Um, this is Colonel Steve Austin and he's packaged together, if you order from Entertainment Earth, he's packaged with Bigfoot. And I'm not going to open Bigfoot in this review, I'll do it in another video, but I just wanted you to see the comparison of how much bigger Bigfoot is compared to Steve Austin. And he's huge, he's got a good inch on him, maybe more. And you see that the card is also much bigger, so before I open them I want to show you that comparison. Uh, you can get them both packaged together from Entertainment Earth or you can get them individually over at Amazon and some other different retailers. So anyway, uh, put Bigfoot aside for now and focus on Steve Austin in his red jogging suit. Uh, first of all, just look at this card art. It is just totally awesome. This is exactly what I would have expected to see on the shelf back in the 70s when the show was on when I was a kid. Um, you got the logo up here with Lee Majors. Um, got him running, got a little whatever you call that, the little heart monitor whatever i'm not a doctor i don't care so anyway what i think is neat is i guess they've made just kind of a standard card and then they have a sticker that they put on right here um have that on bigfoot as well which is kind of surprising since i don't know that they're going to have any other jumbo size figures uh the other thing this says um bionic sound effects it includes exclusive keychain that plays bionic sound effects batteries included i love that i can't wait to check that out and we're going to see that in just a minute here uh ages 14 and up um it's kind of interesting, the retro action figures from Mattel, I think, say ages 7 and up, so I don't know why they think this wouldn't be suitable for younger kids. Officially licensed product, let's look at the back. Again, uh, we've got our display like we might have seen on the old Mego figures. Uh, this has the actual pictures of the actors. you got Colonel Steve Austin, Bigfoot, Oscar Goldman, and the Fembot are coming out later. Uh, the Colonel Steve Austin in his khakis, I think, is out now. Also a mustache variant with that. And then Dr. Rudy Wells uh, with a total of three heads. That's out now. You got two, you can, I think you can get that on the card, and then you can get that in the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive um, lunchbox, tin tote. Uh, that's Oscar Goldman's exploding briefcase. So anyway, I see here Biff Bang Pow, MC Toys. Um, anyway. Great job on this card art. This is just fantastic. I, I hate to bust them out of it, but at the same time, I want to play with them and can't play with them if he's sitting in the card. And I don't know, maybe someday I'll buy an extra one to hang on the wall, but I doubt it. Um, these are awesome toys and I'm ready to open this right now. So uh, I've been sitting on it for about a week waiting to do this video. So I'm just ready to open them. So let's, let's do this. And one thing I want to say before I open them is this card is very thick. I did a um, open up Dark Side recently, and you know it, it was pretty. You know, it wasn't like it was flimsy, but compared to this, this is just a thick card. So it's just very durable. Um, I also want to say when you order from Entertainment Earth, they package their figures so well. They come just total crisp mint condition, straight out of the box. They really take a lot of care. Just in case you are a, a mint on card collector, Entertainment Earth just does an amazing job of packing their toys. Um, so I highly recommend if you're a mint on card collector, just go ahead and pay a few extra bucks from Entertainment Earth. You may be able to save a few bucks going through Amazon or some other retailer, but Entertainment Earth really appreciates that. So anyway, I'll get off my soapbox there. Let's get into Colonel Steve Austin. Separate him from his card. Right, there he is. All right, come on out, come on out. All right. Oh, let's Got a little something on his head, and all right, so we're done with that. We'll look at this in a second. And up, uh, let's see, oh, we got a twist on here, so we'll go through that real quick. Not super collector friendly, but whatever. We're just gonna get them off of here. All right, put those aside. All right, so now he's free. Let's see, he's got his normal little Mego body here. Oh, what do we have here? Let's say bionic arm. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've already seen some pictures online of, of Steve Austin in the nude, and I'm not gonna be stripping him nude here. I, I think that's kind of rude to do. Uh, you know, if you, what you do with your toys in your own time is, is all good, but um, 
But anyway, it looks like he's got a clear arm here, which is really neat. And um, so he's got a swivel bicep, which is awesome. So pull that down. All right. All right, there we go. So got his jogging suit. Oh, look at that six pack. All right, Steve Austin. Uh, let's look at the start with the face. I know some people have complained about the lightness and say it's not this perfect Lee Majors lightness. I, you know, I see him in there. It's fine. And, you know, it's a $20 figure. If this were some $150, $200 Hot Toys sideshow figure, I'd say, yeah, this is a crappy lightness. But for a $20 Mego of Steve Austin, come on. This looks fine. This is great. Great little costume. We got the, um, like I said, the normal Mego articulation with the addition of the the swivel bicep which is great um and then down here what do we have we have oh we have another bionic leg this is a clear leg and what do we have we have another one over here so i don't know what we have i guess okay it stops at the knee there and knee there so okay so just the bottom of the leg's good the shoes come off um it looks like they might let's see here and right, the shoes do come off looks like he's got little socks on his feet uh, you know, I'm not going to be displaying them without his shoes on. It's the point of having a jogging suit if you're not running. So, okay, so you know, we got some bionic, bionic limbs. It's a pretty cool figure. Very excited to have some battles with him and Bigfoot, of course. Ah! Sorry. The Bigfoot uh, episode, at least the first one with Andre the Giant, uh, Steve Austin was wearing his khaki, so I guess I'm going to have to break down and get the khaki figure. But this is... This is an awesome figure. I'm very excited. I think this looks great. Um, if you're a fan of the show, um, or even if you're not, I mean, you know, the six million dollar man was such an icon in the '70s, uh, and to actually have an action figure, you know, the, the one that came out back then. I think I can't remember if it was Kenner who made it, um, but gosh, it, it was like 13 inches. It was huge. It, it dwarfed the Star Wars figures even. So, um, and that had a lot of cool features, but you know, didn't fit in with your Mego. So. It's really neat, eight inch, uh, Mego scale, Steve Austin. Let's check out this little keychain thing real quick. I'm very excited about this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. Do you hear that? This keychain might be worth the twenty dollars alone. Where's that one sound effect? We have the technology. Right, one more time. Yes. All right. This next one. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'll stop geeking out. Uh, yeah, keychain is pretty awesome. Uh, so anyway, here's Steve Austin. Some people complained about his head. Um, let me compare him to. I like to use Batman. He's one of my favorites. Um, He's a classic Batman. You know, the head's, you know, the head's bigger. It's not huge. It's not a bobblehead, as some people have said, but it's a little bit bigger, but it's fine. I mean, look at the two guys. Hey, hey, Batman. Hey, Steve Austin. Oh, okay. So, you know, I think they fit in fine. And certainly, um, pull in Shazam, Captain Marvel. You know, the head's a little bit closer in scale. I think, you know, it looks all right. Hey, Captain Marvel. Hey, Steve Austin. How you doing? All right. So we got that, and then... Compare him to Tom Baker, Doctor Who. That's another Biff Bang Pow, yeah, Biff Bang Pow figure, and the heads look totally fine there. So if, you know, have a Steve Austin adventure in the TARDIS with Doctor Who. I think we're going to be fine. And uh, finally, I got a. This is the original Mego Captain Kirk, not the MC re-release. And yeah, again, these are two um, TV icons. And again, Steve Austin's head looks a little big, but it's not super crazy huge so uh steve austin's awesome how can you not get this guy um i don't know what else there is to say other than he's great check him out steve austin six million dollar man That's all for this uh, review. Thanks for watching.